What up, people? Welcome to the Pushball Black Show. I'm your host, Christian, and this is the Bears cast for week 10. Bears lose 17 to 7. This is going to be a little different because Matt Nagy decided to do something very, very odd. Benching the uh, starting quarterback in the last three minutes of the game um, for some random reason. So we're going to get to that in a second because I have a lot of thoughts. All right, so stats. Mr. Trubisky, 24-43, yards, one touchdown, one interception. Chase Daniel, for some reason, one of four, nine yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Tariq Cohen basically was the only bright spot um, offensively had – Nine carries, 39 yards. David Montgomery, 14 carries, 31 yards. Mr. Trubisky had one carry, four yards. Receiving Tariq Cohen, or not, nah, Taylor Gabriel, seven receptions, 57 yards. Anthony Miller, six receptions, 54 yards. Tariq Cohen, five receptions, 35 yards, and one touchdown. And... Only touchdown they had. David Montgomery, one reception, 19 yards. Allen Robinson, who they basically shut down, uh, four receptions, 15 yards. All right. Eddie Pinheiro missed two field goals. Um, <clears throat> basically, Roquan Smith had an interception. There was a forced... There was a... F- a uh, f- forced fumble, and I think there were, if I'm, read, if I'm reading this correctly, I think there were three forced fumbles, but they didn't, and it was one recovery. All right, so it was one recovery by um, Ha Ha Clean Dicks. Buster Screen, I think, had two fumbles. Eddie Jackson forced one. Ha Ha Clean Dicks reco- recovered one. Okay, so, and let's see, there was no sacks. And, yeah, Eddie Pinheiro had two missed field goals. That was actually really, really, really important. It was because for the majority of the game, it was uh, it was 10, it was 10 to 7, or it, it was 10 to nothing, and it was 10 to 7 when the Bears did score. That touchdown was cut by the Rams to give them cushion was kind of late. So if Eddie gets those field goals, maybe if Eddie hits those field goals, maybe the game would have been a little bit, would have turned out different. All right. So the elephant in the room, which is what everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow and later on tonight, if I can get this, Recorded, I can I can listen to the Bears, um, to some of the Bears p- press conference after the game. Um, and three minutes left in the game, Matt Nagy decides to bench Mr. Trubisky for no for no reason. You don't really know. There's there's no injury. There was no signs of an injury. You're down seventeen seven. Um, you're, it's it's the fourth quarter. Why do this? Why why do this? And your play calling for Chase wasn't. See, here's the 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 argument that I did. I find myself here. Here's the thing that I that I find myself getting angry about with the whole Chase Daniel, Mr. Risky thing. You know Mr. Bisky can't run your stuff effectively. So talent is out the window. But from what I keep hearing from people is that Mr. Bisky is the more, more talented quarterback and Chase isn't the future. But it's like it doesn't matter because even though he's talented, Mr. Bisky can't run your stuff. And if Mr. Bisky can't run your stuff, and he's ineffective running your stuff. It doesn't matter. The, the entire game was waiting for somebody to have a flash. That game was, it was ugly. 
It was defensive. Like, Jared Goff didn't play well. Mitch played a little better, but not by much. And you're waiting for something to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're waiting for a flash to happen. For either one of them. But specifically, Mr. Bisky. Waiting for Mr. Bisky to have one of those flashes in in the quarter, and hopefully, the flash in, makes a touch. The, the flash can get you. The flash of talent can lead to a touchdown, and you end up winning. The defense ends up holding on, and you end up winning the game. That's not how you want to win a lot of football games. You want to have a consistent idea of what you want to do offensively, but they're just kind of running plays and hoping that something happens. Um, Chase Daniel is not going to save bad play calling. One of the things that I noticed, like they still kind of don't, they'll run the ball more, but they still don't want to run the ball out of eye formation. Still want to run it out of shotgun. Tariq Cohen was basically a bright spot. You could have either you could have featured him. See what I and they were mentioning it, it in the broadcast with the Rams. The Rams don't want to run Todd Gurley. They don't. They want to do the same thing that the Bears want to do. They want to run their stuff. Now Todd Gurley is a part of their offense, but they want to run what they they want to do what they did last year and throw the ball down the field and do all types of crazy passes. They can't do that now because they cause people have figured Jared Goff off, out. So now Todd Gurley, and they ran Todd Gurley a lot this game. He got touches. He got a lot of touches. And they stuck with they stuck with the running game a lot. The Bears don't do that. The Bears want to run a little bit and then they want to get in the shotgun. And they want to, like, they're, they're just hoping that that shotgun-style offense that they that Nagy wants to run, they're hoping that something happens. And it's just like, okay. Like, seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's third and one. You want to be in the shotgun for third and one. Like, Tariq Cohen had a pretty good game in between the tackles. And had a pretty good game as far as screen passes go. And you're in the shotgun. Why are you in the shotgun? Like, I'm all for Chase Daniel starting the rest of the season. If that's what you want to do. If you're basically saying that, hey, um, we, that, hey we're 4-6 and six now. I can't run what I want to run. Let's, let's put... Chase in there because he can run what I want to do, and then I can get another guy next year. Okay, fine. But your system isn't working. And from what I've been hearing, because see, I was the start Chase Daniel I was on the start Chase Daniel t- team when Mitch got hurt, and it seemed like Chase was running the system better. But you you were hearing that if you thought that way, then you were crazy because Mr. Bisky is the more talented quarterback. It doesn't matter if Mr. Bisky is part of the future or not, because he's not good. And it's better for you to realize that now and see what you got see what you got going on. Because now you don't have to give him the money, unlike Los Angeles gave Jared Goff the money. So if you want to do that, cool, do that. Um, you can still, if you think Chase Daniel is going to get you to a 10 and six record and maybe sniff the playoffs. Okay. Which you could have figured this out. Well, I don't know at the end of the third quarter to see what happens, but is this is, this is interesting. This is stupid because I don't know what you, what the point of benching him with three minutes left in the third quarter means. Or four quarter minutes. Especially if you're not even going to test Chase to throw the ball down the field. 
That's one of the biggest pro. That was one of the biggest arguments of not having Chase start in the first place because he he because he wasn't able to throw the ball down the field. If you're basically just gonna throw like short to mid range to barely mid range passes and not run the ball in the like three minutes he was in he was in there. What's the point of doing it? There better be an injury. There better be an injury that that they're not telling us. Because I don't understand what that was for. But anyway, um, this is rambling now. This really wasn't going to be a long one, really, because there's really nothing to talk about. Like, deep, both defenses played well until Jared Goff had a flash of brilliance and Mitch Trubisky didn't. So that's basically what the Bears season is now. We're just waiting for Mitch Trubisky to have a couple of flashes throughout the game and hope our defense stands, hangs in there and holds a team to 13 to 17 points. That's basically it. And hope that Mr. Bisky, not Mr. Bisky, but Matt Nagy, like has a string of plays that hits to where he can get a couple touchdowns. Because I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm still going to watch still going to do these because I like doing these, but I don't know. And then we have, um, let's see, let's see what they, let's just, let's just see what they have, uh, going on next week. I'm just going to see what they have going on next week. Okay. Uh, next week they got the Giants. One o'clock game against the Giants. You should be able to beat the Giants next week. I don't know because they have a better running game than you. They get, Giants have a better running game than you. Gi- Giants have a better. They have a better quarterback than you. I'll tell you, Daniel Jones will miss Trubisky any day. Although it does. Although I don't know because for some reason. They don't want Mr. Bisky to run. So I have a feeling that if you have Daniel Jones th- that's still learning, his biggest asset is his ability to move around. They don't want Mitch to move around, so they might so if Daniel Jones was a bear, they might ask him to be in the pocket and throw forty times and not really do anything else and still be ineffective. Okay, so you got the Giants next week. You might win against the Giants. You might not because it depends. And they stick with a, the Giants stick with a running game because they have Saquon Barkley. So let's see what else. And you have the um, and you have the Lions again. Lions almost beat you last week. You'll have the Lions in two weeks. On thanks, on um, I think that's yep, that's Thanksgiving. So for Thanksgiving at at twelve thirty, um, twelve th- at eleven thirty rather, you'll have the Lions at Thanksgiving, and the Lions almost beat you with their backup quarterback. Their backup quarterback should be still playing. And I don't know. So maybe in the next couple of games, maybe the Bears will st- string some wins. But there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee they should have won this game, but they figured out a way not to get in the end zone. But once, so anyway, I'm rambling now. I will see you either next week or if I decide to do a bear, a Bulls one because I have thoughts on the Bulls and so another. Maybe I'll do a surprise one. I don't know. But anyway, see you guys next week. Later.